I'm here in Sydney at FX PhD. We're recording the uh, 2013 Fast Forward on uh, New DaVinci Resolve software. Uh, I've had the software now for about three weeks and uh, these are some things I really like and some of the things you will see in the class if you choose to purchase them. Obviously, DaVinci big on creating looks. There's newer tools as well in here now just to aid the color correction. It's not all about the finishing. They've added a contrast control in here with a pivot point. I like that, I've been using that. Being able to do things like this, something I wouldn't often do. I put some text on there and I even need to animate it like that. So it just animates off with him. Being able to do that is a bit of fun. I do a lot of stuff with raw files. So having a tab there, raw camera file, where I can go in and adjust the resolution, size, ISO, having it there for all the cameras and change the deep Bayer quality there, it's a lot faster. So I'm enjoying having that there. I like the new splitter and combiner node. You can now break out your shot into red, green, and blue individual channels. So if you needed to noise reduce a certain channel, maybe the blue channel you can, then you can come in here and just offset as well in node sizing, which is new, just slide that across. You can offset a channel or just grade that green channel slightly different to the others. Temporal noise reduction, much improved here, much nicer with any movement. I've just been playing here and drawing shapes around these buildings. You can see that I've actually cloned the building and some of the beach, put it across the other side, made this much more of a resort. Uh, just playing with it and then it just tracks together. So I've copied the tracking data across. Works really nicely, I quite like it. Have some fun there. Uh, another one is really cool. If I want to now add a plug-in to this and add some lens flares, of course I can. I've got the Sapphire plugins loaded here. You just find one you like and just drag it onto the node and there you have full control. This can all be keyframed and changed. So there's a lot to think about here from a creative point of view. And you can now render to the Easy DCP package if you have that plugin package on your system. This is gonna be an exciting thing as well that really needs to be explored as we move more and more. They're even short films are gonna to wanna to deliver DCPs. So it's just making that little process a little bit easier. And hey, I'm even enjoying the editing side of things, which you know normally leave me a little bit cold. So in terms of what we got in the classes, we cover everything from the beginner really. So if you've never touched Resolve and you are really keen just to see what it's about and get started. So we start from a fresh, how you create a very simple project just to get you started. Look at primary, secondaries, the five windows that you can now utilize, how you can copy tracks, how you can stick grades onto people's faces. So it definitely uh, will walk you through. So don't worry if you've never had any color correction experience or maybe limited, or maybe you've come from another box and you want to learn more tools. We will look at how you uh, create a grade, you do a primary, how you build into a secondary, how you use the different nodes. The nodes are the real key. So I will go over the parallel node, the layer mixer node, when to use which one. Obviously, how we need to create some looks. So there's a chapter on creating some looks and styles. That's some of the things that we've just talked about here. Uh, going on to evaluating the different digital formats. There's a class on keyframing, how we can keyframe images individually to change parameters. It's good fun, I'm enjoying playing with it anyway, so hopefully you'll enjoy the classes and you'll enjoy your grading as well.